All right, here we go, another video. This time we're live, live action. We're up on top of a little cape here um, in Durham doing a flying squirrel job. Just wanted to show you a couple of little spots that um, we tell people all the time to look for and you'll see these on our on our top 10 list as far as our homeowner checklist if you're selling or buying a house. Uh, these people were hearing noises at night. It's still cool enough now where the flying squirrels are in the houses and that's what we're dealing with here. So. We're on the side of a dormer. That's a one-way door that's going to be going on in a second. But we've got this dormer here. You can see. I don't know if you can see under there. Let me turn the flashlight on to help a little bit. There. But you can see on the gaps that get left under these soffit boxes. I don't know how good that is. There we go. And then along the sides here. Um, that one's not active but open. So anything that's open even a little... We're going to seal so that we don't invite things in. And uh, I think I can just push the button and flick. You can tell I'm not too techy. Um, this dormer, yeah, this is going to be the one-way door going on. But you can see there's a gap there. Um, definitely big enough for bats to get in and out. But under here, you can see the insulation that's getting pulled out from constant activity going in and out under here. Um, my flashlight can go pretty much right up in there. They only need a little bit. If you can hear your uh, two fingers, put them together like that and look at the end, that's really all flying squirrels need for access to get in. So uh, we've got this dormer, this dormer, then there's another one on the other side. Three dormers across the front, full dormer on the back and where the roofs connect. Same situation. So if you're hearing noises, Give us a buzz, and I'll come do my acrobatic stuff. And hey, who knows, maybe we'll do a video on your house too. <laughs> Give us a call. Talk to Miranda. Anytime. Free inspections. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, we don't typically do video two on the same house, but um, moving around the side, and since we did the inspection, we knew there was flying squirrels here, and earlier I did a video on it. It's got three dormers. Well, we're on the furthest dormer to the right, on the right side of the dormer now. And um, evidently, there's been quite a bit more activity since we were here. Um, you'll see age difference in the insulation, um, some mold on it, moss on it, as well as new insulation that's been pulled out recently. So that's where the hole is up there. And look at all the insulation that's getting dragged out as the little critters move around in there. Yep. Oh, look at that. It does zoom, huh? So there's going to be a one-way door right under there. Yes, they're ugly. No, they're not permanent. That should um, that should make a big difference as far as the noise. Usually 24 to 48 hours after we've put the one-way doors on, the um, the sounds are gone because they got to come out nightly as long as the weather's good. Get food, moisture, and um, and such. There's a beautiful little bird feeder in the backyard, which is perfect. These squirrels will come out. Run up the roof, they can glide up to 160 feet, so you're not going to cut enough trees down. Yeah, you can see some trees around the house, but none of them are touching, so it's not a big deal. Gray squirrels, um, you want to make sure that everything's trimmed back at least six feet from the house. But uh, in this case, flying squirrels will just glide wherever they want to go. If you don't believe me, get one caught in your house because you haven't done the work when you heard the noise, and you'll watch them glide from one window to the other across your living room. It's actually pretty funny. Um, so are the screams that you hear when it happens. Give us a call, like I said before. Talk to Miranda. Um, go on our website and look at the podcast and the stuff that we have more in depth on this squirrel situations. And we'll fix it for you. Thank you.